Welcome back to our BAT 556 lightweight build. We're almost done. We're putting the muzzle device, the VG6 Epsilon 556 brake and flash hider. So a couple of things you want to do before you install your muzzle device. First we want to make sure that the threads are clean. So there's a couple of different muzzle devices out there. Many of them install using a crush washer. VG6 is no different. It comes, this uh, one in particular came with the crush washer. But we want to check we want to make sure the tapered end of the washer is against the shoulder. So we'll slide that on. And then we'll take our, our muzzle device and we're going to very slowly dart the threads. We want to make sure that it threads and we want to see where it stops once we've got it to hand tight. With a crush washer, you never want to go more than a half a turn. And right now, since this is the top of our muzzle device, it slots, and it's sitting right here, we have to go nearly a full turn to get it back to top dead center. So there's a couple of things that are available. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a shim kind of space that out a little bit. There's multiple different sizes. So we're going to use, this one should give us a half a turn extra. So we'll slide that on against the flat face of a crush washer because we want the flat surfaces to be against the flat surface of the muzzle device and now let's see where it, where it ends up on the hand tight. And that's perfect. This is the bottom, so we just need to go one half turn. The crush washer will give way. This way, it helps to avoid putting too much torque on your barrel assembly itself, too much twisting force. So now that we know that this is the exact shim and crush washer we're gonna use, we'll go ahead and take this off. Go ahead and remove these. And before we actually do the installation, again, we want to apply a little bit of grease to these threads or an anti-seize anti compound, this will just help protect the threads. On both your muzzle device and your barrel. Some like to use Loctite to secure it in place. You can, but bear in mind that doing so may make removing the muzzle device, if you ever wanted to change it, very, very difficult. Once we have our NICs on there, we'll go ahead and throw the crush washer and our shim back. And thread on the muzzle device. Use a shop paper towel or a shop towel just to remove some of the excess antices that might be on your fingers. And now your first instinct may to immediately want to go and put the wrench on and start to tighten down on your muscle device. But if you want to keep the finish nice, here's another trick. We'll actually take a page from the packaging. We're going to wrap that around. 
and just use your fingers to find the flats. Then take the wrench and slide it up. When you tighten this, it's important to still have that reaction rod in place. And we're going to hold the barrel and we're going to slowly start to turn and apply tension. Just like when torquing the barrel nut, we want to do a similar fashion where we tighten it and then back off. And then we go a little bit further. And then we back it off. We're going to repeat this process until we've returned it to top dead center. Once you've got it about there, you go ahead and remove the paper. Make sure that your top ports of your muzzle device or whatever you're using line up with your gas block and your upper receiver. And your muzzle device is installed. Now we'll go ahead and install the rail. The switch is a quick detach device, so we'll go ahead and open up the latch. And we'll very gently slide this on over the barrel. Once we have the top rail of the upper receiver, and the top rail of our handguard. Go ahead, pinch that shut. Make sure you have enough tension on the pressure lock. And your muzzle device, your barrel, gas block, gas tube assembly, and your handguard are now all in one piece with your upper receiver. Come back and we'll show you how to finish it off.